澳洲咧有位非常之權威嘅酒評人，咁佢咧就剛剛就出咗一本中文書，咁其實咧佢誒喺澳洲嗰度咧，亦都係已經係享譽咗好多年噶啦，已經寫咗成廿幾年酒嘅，咁佢名咧就叫 Jeremy Oliver， 咁其實咧我而家手上呢一本咧就係佢嘅 Wine Annual 二零零九，咁亦都咧佢剛剛發行咗一本咧中文嘅簡體字嘅書，咁佢咧而家就坐咗喺我旁邊。Hi, nice to meet you, Jeremy. It's good to see you here. And uh, why are you here in Hong Kong? I'm delighted to be here in Hong Kong because uh, it's part of a trip that I'm taking uh, throughout much of China yeah. and uh, principally uh, mm -hmm. to launch a book that I've produced in simplified China. It's a mainland China, right. um, which is intended to introduce them mm -hmm. to what wine is. Uh, basically take them by the hand, assuming no wine knowledge at all, and say, right, this is what it is, this is what it's made from, this is how it's made, this is, you know, what a wine region is, and, and then basically this is how to uncork a bottle or unscrew a right. bottle, this is how to pour mm -hmm. it, serve it, decant it, cellar it, everything. So it's for wine novices? Yeah. Okay, and um, are they mainly about Australian wines, or yeah, wines Yeah, be being, a, being a, being a, um, being a you know, blue-blooded Australian, <laughs> I tend to uh, give most of the examples in the book about Australian wine and Australian regions and uh, at the end of the book, mm -hmm. uh, like the second half if you like, is uh, tasting notes, labels and my ratings of right. 290 wines that are currently available in mainland China, mm -hmm. So, uh, which I think is the first time this has happened. So I guess still a march on the French and others mm -hmm. by taking you know the sort of educational space yes. as much as I can for Australia. So it's, uh, it's my ambition I guess to see that Australian wine becomes you know, the natural wine of choice for people in Southeast Asia and, and Northeast Asia. That's, right, so I, that, I is also, that is also it. why you're here tonight. Exactly. Yes, yeah. and uh, what are we having tonight for the dinner? Like a new world versus old world, right? Yeah, I think yeah. One, of the, one of the things about um, the, the new world is that when trying to sort of uh, put its wines in context, it's appropriate and, and, and really exciting to compare them to what you might be described as benchmark old mm -hmm. world styles. And I don't find it intimidating and it, I wouldn't sort of undertake these, these ideas thinking that Australia is going to win every time. <laughs> it's not that case at all. It's not a, I don't think it's a, a beauty contest between what Australia might be making, what France, Italy, Spain might be producing. I think it's important to show people a context for the way Australian wine is evolving and also to be able to say, right, well, vive la difference. Right. You know, here's a, here's a Chardonnay out of Burgundy that you're already drinking, well, here's a Chardonnay out of the Yarra Valley that you might never have tasted, but mm -hmm. you might actually really enjoy, yeah. and it might sting you for about 70% of the cost of the one that you're enjoying from Burgundy, right. so it's a win-win. 咁 Jeremy 咧就話咧，其實誒新舊世界嘅酒咧，其實咧就各有好處嘅。咁誒今晚嘅 dinner 或者係甚至我哋平時飲酒咧，其實咧都並唔係話咩新舊世界嘅選美會，而係咧其實每個地方嘅酒咧都有佢哋好嘅地方。不過咧佢亦都非常之強調咧，就係話誒其實誒佢哋新世界特別係澳洲嘅酒咧，佢哋價錢咧就平好多。咁亦都非常之適合咧東南亞嘅朋友去飲嘅。咁啊甚至係中國內地咧亦都非常之適合飲呢只酒嘅。咁啊今晚咧就好多謝 Jeremy，thank you for joining us tonight，and I hope you all the best。Thanks Thank so you. much and really okay. appreciate it. Nice meeting.